gashes to better upon them. Turn, hellhound, turn! Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> of all men else, I have avoided thee. But get thee back, my soul is too much charged. With blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword. Thou bloodier villain than terms can give out. Thou hast loudest labor, and easy mayest thou be in turn in turn it there. <laughs> With thy keen sword, in press as make me bleed. Let fall thy blade on vulnerable crests. I bear a charmed life, which must not yield to one of woman born. Oh, despair thy charm, and let the angel whom thou still hast served. Tell thee Macduff was from his mother's womb untimely ripped. This is a wordy fight. A cursed be that tongue that tells me so, for it hath cowed the, my better part of man. And be these juggling fiends no more believe, that palter with us in a double sense that keep the word of promise to our ear, and break it to a hope I'll not fight with thee. Then yield thee, coward, and live to be the show and gaze of the time. We'll have thee as our rarer monsters are, painted on a pole and under red. Here you may see the tyrant. I will not yield. Turn your sword away, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet, and to be baited with the rabble's curse, Though Burnham would become to Dunan Sain, Dunan Sain, I have trouble with that one. And thou opposed, be of no woman born. Hey, Leslie, get over here. Yet I will try the last before my body. I throw my warlike shield. <laughs> Lay on Macduff, and damn it be him that first cries, hold enough. <laughs> yes. I would the friends we miss were safe arrived. Some must go off, and yet by these I see. So great a day as this is cheaply thought. Macduff is missing, and your noble son. Your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's debt. He only lived but till he was a man, to which no sooner had his powers confirmed, in the unshrinking station where he fought, but like a man he died. Then he is dead? Aye, and brought off the field your cause of sorrow. Must not be measured by his worth, for then it hath no end. Had he his hurts before? Aye, on the front. Why then, God soldier be he, had I as many sons as I have hairs, I would not wish them to a fairer death. And so his knell is known? Yeah. He's worth more <laughs> sorrow, and that I'll spend for him. He's worth no more. They say he parted well and paid his score. And so, God be with him, here comes newer comfort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to have the best head. Hail, King! Yeah. <laughs> for so thou art. Behold, where stands the usurper's cursed head? Free. <laughs> I see thee compass with thy kingdom's pearl that speaks my salutation in their minds, whose voices I desire aloud with mine. Hail, King of Scotland! Hail, King of Scotland! We shall not spend a large expense of time before we reckon with your several loves and make us even with you, my thanes and kingsmen. Henceforth be earls, be earls, the first that ever Scotland. In such an honor name, what's more to do? Which would be planted newly with time, as calling home our exiled friends abroad that held the snares of watchful tyranny, producing forth the cruel ministers of his of this dead butcher and his fiend-like queen, whose as tis thought by self and violent hands, this is really long, <laughs> took off their life this and what needful else that calls upon us by the grace of grace. 
You can fast forward if you get tired or thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to all at once and to each one. Whom we invite to see us proud at Stone. Oh, this is where we flourish, you guys. <laughs> Probably got enough spread. 